Now let's talk about the tools of the trade, the software package jewelry designers use most common. There are several CAD programs specifically developed or adapted for jewelry design, each with its own strength. As you can see on my screen, I will walk you through the main contenders. Rhinoceros or Rhino is what we will be focusing on uh, in this course. It's a nerves-based modeling software that wasn't specifically designed for jewelry, but has become the industry standard. NERBS, by the way, stands for non-uniform rational B splines, but don't worry about the technical jargon. Uh, what matters is that it allows for incredibly precise modeling with smooth curves, perfect for jewelry. The basic version of Rhino is quite affordable compared to other professional software, which is part of why it's so widely adopted. But what really makes it uh, powerful for jewelry design are the specialized Plugins. Matrix Gold is the most popular jewelry specific plugin for Rhino. It adds tools specifically for jewelry design like stone setting features, ring sizing tools, and weight calculations. As you can see here, it adds a whole new set of menus to Rhino that streamlines the jewelry design process. Tree design is another popular choice. It's purpose built for jewelry and offers excellent tools for creating complex pieces. It's particularly strong in parametric modeling, which means you can easily adjust dimensions without rebuilding the entire design. Blender is worth mentioning as a free open source alternative. While it's not specifically for jewelry, its powerful subdivision modeling capabilities make it excellent for organic forms. Some designers use it alongside Rhino for certain types of designs. ZBrush is primarily a digital sculpting program that is fantastic for creating organic sculptural jewelry pieces. Many designers use it in combination with Rhino, sculpting organic elements in ZBrush and then importing them into Rhino for technical refinement. There are other options like SOLIDWORKS and Fusion 360, each with their own advantages and learning curves. So, which should we learn? Well, I would recommend starting with uh, Rhino for several reasons. It's the industry standard, so skills in Rhino are highly transferable and sought after by employers. It offers a good balance of precision and flexibility. With plugins like Matrix Gold, it's specifically optimized for jewelry design. There is a large community of users and plenty of learning resources available. That said, many professional designers eventually uh, learn multiple software packages using different tools for different aspects of design. For instance, you might use Rhino for precise geometric work and ZBrush for organic sculptural elements. For beginner goal, uh, Rhino provides an excellent foundation. Once you understand the principles of 3D modeling for jewelry in Rhino, those skills will transfer well uh, if you decide to explore other software later.